Welcome back to Waza Wednesday. This week we're going to take a look at the kakushiwaza, the uh, hidden techniques, so to speak, uh, that you can find within your uh, ukewaza, your receiving techniques. In this case, uh, something like your shudan uke, your outside middle block, uh, has a lot of potential to include additional strikes. So within your basic chudan uke, there's a lot of potential for striking to be added into that technique. Uh, it's not something where you need to do every single potential strike, but for drilling purposes it makes it very interesting, very fun, and it gives you the ability to kind of work on your fluidity uh, in transitions. So one of the ways you can do this is have your partner throw a straight punch and you can work your basic block on the outside of their arm, and all you start to do is add maybe your kick as you step because as they come in you're probably going to step closer to them anyway and when you're looking at your kata anytime you step you could be attacking the legs so first technique to add that kick right in there then if you want to actually add things with your hands the fact that you have this setup position you can actually use that to strike with a punch underneath before you go into the block so now you've got a kick and a punch before you even get to your block. After that, normally this hand pulls back. You can actually use it to throw another strike before it does. So from here, we've got our kick, we've got our punch, and our parry all at the same time. As I bring this up, this pulling hand can actually throw a back fist into the ribs if I want to. Just within the basic middle block motion, you've already got a kick, a punch, and a back fist. If you follow it up a little bit more, you've got a little more to explore. So for example, you can do another middle block motion on the same side to explore a little bit more of the possibilities. So he throws that punch, I've got my kick, my parry, my punch underneath, my back fist. If I just kind of repeat the middle block idea, this hand can come back as a punch and I can follow as an elbow. And then I just make my motion a little bigger and I have an elbow to the back of the head, and I can drop my forearm back of his neck as well. So from the other side, we'll take a look at that. Punch comes in, we've got our parry and our kick, we've got our punch underneath, we bring up our middle block, we can back fist into his body here. Then I can take this hand and just kind of cycle it again through the middle block motion. That gives me another punch to his body. If I wanna get closer, I've got an elbow. And if I make the motion a little bigger, I can drop the elbow onto the back of their head, drop my forearm onto the back of their head. So all I've really done is middle block, middle block. But you've got a lot of different possibilities within those motions to explore different ways of adding strikes. And again, that's not something you would try to actually do every single one of those on an opponent. But if you can add just maybe one or two of them, it makes your evasive maneuver and your receiving technique a lot more effective.